Hello dear friends, welcome back. Uh, friends, we are discussing about the structure of the eye lens. Now, in the previous lecture, I have discussed about the lens fibers. We discussed about lens capsule, anterior epithelium and lens fibers. And now we are going to discuss about the cortex and the nuclei. Right? Welcome back friends. Let's discuss about lens nuclei. Right. So, what are nuclei? Inside your lens, you have those fibers which were formed before birth and which were formed after birth and those fibers which are right now forming in our eye lens. Right. So, here you can see I have drawn different colors. So, here are those fibers. Right. Those fibers which were formed while the lens was developing, while the lens was going to develop. I mean during embryonic life right so this red nucleus which is present inside your lens and these are nothing but the old fibers right let me write here what are lens nuclei these are old fibers right so these were the fibers which were formed firstly right then they remained there then there were the development of the next group of fibers and then there were the development of next group of fibers and the last group of fibers which were developed and now newly growing fibers which are newly growing day by day right in our eyes right so nuclei are nothing but old fibers and what are these nuclei the first group of nuclei let me mention all those with the same color the first group of nuclei are the embryonic nucleus embryonic nucleus right as I have shown it with that red color here, here I have written it with the red color so that to understand it. So this is your embryonic nucleus and this embryonic nucleus starts developing at the age of uh, uh, three months of gestational period, right? So it develops at, right, three months or means third month of gestational period now it means that whenever your eye is uh, forming in uh, your body right while you are in the uh, embryonic stage when you whenever your eye is developing right so when the lens develops around the lens there is the capsule and then there is the interior epithelium so there are there will be the cuboidal cells so those cuboidal cells will form the first group of uh, fibers which are now called the embryonic nucleus so as like this so your lens will be very smaller right there will be the epithelium interior epithelium then th th yeah there will be the cuboidal cells right the columnar cells and these columnar cells you know that they will form the fibers right the deep fibers and they will remain there and then these cells will migrate in interiorly right these cells will migrate interiorly and they will form the next group of fibers like this and then the third and the fourth group of fibers will be formed right so and this is the embryonic nucleus and embryonic nucleus develops at the third month of embryonic stage or gestational period then there is the, the green color the green nucleus and this is called the infantile or fetal nucleus i'm sorry this is called the fetal nucleus and this fetal nucleus starts developing and uh, uh, from the third month it develops from third month till birth so when the baby is born in his lens right in his lens the fetal nucleus is formed fully formed right so this is your first nucleus embryonic nucleus then the fetal nucleus and then there is your third nucleus this is second there is your third nucleus and that is called the infantile nucleus infantile nucleus and this infantile nucleus starts developing from uh, from birth till puberty 
right so it forms from birth till puberty this is the black nucleus the black fibers right the old fibers this is called the infantile nucleus and the fourth nucleus is your uh, the fourth nucleus that we have here is your adult nucleus adult nucleus and this nucleus is formed after the after the infantile nucleus and this remains for the whole life so we write it the rest of the life it remains for rest of life right so how many nuclei are there there is the embryonic nucleus there is the uh, fetal nucleus there is the infantile nucleus and then there is the uh, adult nucleus right then we say what is the concept of cortex what is meant by cortex so look carefully cortex is the part of the lens from which the new fibers are arising right what is lens cortex let me write it here cortex so cortex is the is the uh, part of lens part of lens which give rise to new fibers right so it means that the lens cortex will be this area this is the cortex and this is the cortical area why because the columnar epithelium is present here in the previous lecture i had told you that this epithelium is responsible to make all these fibers right so these fibers spread like this right so uh, here is your uh, embryonic nucleus and it is shown also here and here right so cortex uh, i hope uh, the concept of cortex is also clear cortex is the part from which the new fibers arises so newly fibers arise at the cortex so my dear friends uh, we have covered all these important points regarding your lens so the lens capsule interior epithelium lens fibers lens cortex and lens nuclei and one thing which is very important your lens is totally avascular it is avascular it does not have any blood supply but it gets it nu its nutrition from the interior chamber or from the aqueous humor and the vitreous humor uh, supplies the nutrition to your lens right friends so i hope this is clear and i hope you can now uh, you can now give names to all these parts of the lens so these are the zones zonules of zen then this green color shows the lens capsule this is the interior epithelium then there are lens fibers cortex then there are nuclei the adult nucleus the infantile nucleus uh, uh, yeah the fetal nucleus and then there is the embryonic nucleus so i hope it's clear about the uh, lens of the eye now we will discuss about the aqueous humor and vitreous humor and the blood supply of the eye and the canon of schlem which is very important so see you in the next lectures till then allah hafiz